Our stories are the people. It is the entrepreneurs and the dreamers, the people who were born here, to those who followed and moved here. We thank you, and we're thankful to have the job that we get to tell the stories of who you are. Thank you also to the collaborators who are sitting in the theater tonight, who share their passion and pride and <laughs> zest for the community and for all of the projects that they put their passion into. Those projects make this area a wonderful place to live. You are truly the fabric of the community, the visible and invisible, in our murals, along our trails, on plates, or in a glass. We hope you enjoy this evening's preview, and we hope that you'll join us in continuing to tell the story of the Stevens Point area and everything that makes it great. Thank you. And as most of you may know from seeing the previews, um, trivia was a segment in this episode. Uh, Jim's down here in the front row, and he told me I wasn't supposed to say anything, so I won't tell you that he made a commitment to Lois that he's going to ask a question about this particular episode in this year's contest. <laughs> but you didn't hear it from me. Uh, the, the last 30 seconds is particularly special for me because I watched the show. Um, my mother and father-in-law turned me on to John McGivern uh, a couple of, several years ago. And uh, I watched a couple of the shows, and I saw the last 30 seconds of all the shows, and I got a little nervous about what we're going to do. So the last 30 seconds, for those of you who don't know, they give to the mayor or city administrator to tell you why that city is the best place to work, live, and play. And every other mayor that I saw, and I don't want to oversimplify it, but I will, <laughs> every mayor says, well, we have great people, and we've got great parks, and we've got wonderful businesses, and we've got a, you know, a nice X. But well, we have all those things too, but what makes us different? What makes us different is that we're non-traditional. We try new things. We try creative things. Uh, and you'll see a little bit about that in year two with Great Porch County. So what I did is I made it a community challenge. Most people don't know this. And I said I was working on a special project. I posted on social media. Give me your two or three favorite things about Stevens Point. We had hundreds of replies, hundreds. So I had my assistant and I go through, mostly her, um, and weed out the duplicates. And then we took all of the, um, the other things, the, the singles, and we, I, I spent some time and weeded it down. And I think you're going to see some pretty interesting stuff. John told me this was the first time we've ever done this. When I initially pitched the idea to him, he said, no, we're not going to do that. So let me, let me run through it. So they let me run through it. And by the end of the 30 seconds, Lois was doubled overlapping. I think John may have peed a little. <laughs> um, so I hope the final edit turns out as, as humorous as I think. Because it's really us. It is the community of Stevens Point that put that last 30 seconds together. We're really excited about what's going on in Wisconsin and Wisconsin Public Broadcasting. Because of the work that John does, because of Wisconsin Life, Wisconsin Foodie around the corner, uh, uh, around the farm table. Uh, our history work, um, these are the glory days of public television, certainly. We have more Wisconsin content than we've ever had. Uh, and I want to thank John, Lois, and his crew for really celebrating the state. Um, it's a wonderful series, and I'm so happy that you got to Stevens Point. Now, uh, we're going to go to uh, Around the Corner with Jim McGovern. Um, <laughs> and I want you to know, um, it's at Stevens Point, and I want you to know, John, Jim, John, John, I think it's John, is here, and uh, he'll be available for questions, so write down your notes uh, uh, after, and he'll tell you a little bit about making of the show, uh, and uh, we'll have great fun enjoying the show, but think about your questions, that's your homework. Now, let's watch Around the Corner with John McGivern and Stevens Point. Thank you. Yeah.
see you. Thanks for coming out tonight. Um, for uh, everyone who was in the show, would you please stand? Uh, I was telling them before um, we gathered tonight that uh, Lois and I love to sit in the back and try to watch the reaction of the people who are in the show. Because um, we come to town for a week. It takes us five days to make 26 and a half minutes of television. And um, for those who are in the show, we show up at your business, or we show up at your home, or we show up at a, at a place that we've agreed to meet, and we spend a good hour and a half, two hours with you, chatting and talking about what we're gonna talk about. And then the sound guy hangs a mic, and the camera is set up, and we begin a conversation that lasts for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. And then they show up at these previews and they're like, I got a minute. <laughs> and before we open it up to questions, great, thank you. Um, I want you to know, I always say this, that if you were watching this and it finished at 27 minutes and you're thinking, I can't believe they didn't cover this. <laughs> Why didn't they do this? They should have done this. They could have. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, just before we open it up too, I just wanted you to know that this show is um, is really popular. It's got the highest ratings of any show on any PBS station on Thursday nights in the country. In January, the show started airing on PBS World, so if you have friends around the country, they can watch it on Sunday, 12.30 Eastern Time, 9.30 Western Time, um, 12.30 in the afternoon, 9.30 in the morning, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoons on every PBS world station in the country. They're playing around the corner with John McGivern. I love the fact that they are telling our stories, these stories of our towns in this state that we all call home. You know, I moved away in 1978 from Milwaukee from the east side and I moved to Chicago and I lived in DC and I lived in Atlanta and I lived in Portland and I lived in San Francisco and I spent my whole 90s in Los Angeles, California when I came back in 2001 to the town that I've always, always called home. The fact that in 2017, I am sharing this state that no matter where I lived, I always had this drive to get back to. I just can't even tell you how proud I am to be a man from this country. Thank you and good night. <laughs> this particular episode, did we get it? Do you guys feel like we understood Stephen's point? Good. Good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, you guys.